gravel pits. I absolutely love them. You read all the old books on pond management. Every state puts out books. They, if they talk about gravel pits, sand pits, they talk about, well, you have lower productivity, you can't support as many fish, so they're a little colder, a little deeper, things happen a little slower, which is all true. But the other thing, the nice thing about them is you got a big margin for error. You can push and push and push and push, and you know you're not gonna tip the system over and go too far and get crazy algae blooms or something like that because your productivity is so low. So this is great experimental grounds to really see what you can accomplish. Looking below the surface, most gravel pits you pull up to, people love them because they're crystal clear water, they're sandy beaches, there's hardly any vegetation growing up because they're so low productivity. They're just, there's not a lot of action happening at the bottom of the food web. People like them because they're clean. Fisheries biologists, that's, that's a challenge for us, for us to overcome. So if we looked at this lake three years ago, it was, you could see down 30 feet deep, there's 50 feet of water out here. And in a lot of places, the, because it's a mining operation, the, that bank just drops off from zero to 20 feet and about 15 foot of shoreline. So, so really, we just had this narrow band of where we could have action, and then we have a whole bunch of unproductive water offshore. Just not a lot happening. It's too cold, not much going on. Too deep for the too plants deep. to get going. They're not getting enough light down there. It's like a biological desert. So yeah, we had to reprogram it. This is, this is our experimental lake, so we, we figured out how to come up with a formula on how to, how to approach these things. And it started with habitat. You know, it was, a, it was a literal desert and it was sand bottom, so it was very fitting, but we filled it with habitat and that instantly brought productivity up because now we have decomposing trees and we have artificial habitat that's growing periphyton and we started stocking more prey fish in here and we um, started the feeding system, all these in external inputs into the system to help bring the productivity up. And we could experiment on how many trees we could put in a lake or should put in a lake and where we get the responses and we could be very safe in this thing because you know, we know we had that big buffer of productivity.